Sports Entertainment Schmig. And it's brought to you by Plaza Motor Signs of Hope. Did Tony Bennett jinx the Giants yesterday? They could have swept the series against the Nationals. But instead, Tony came out in the middle of the seventh inning and decided to sing God Bless America and uh, mess up the lyrics. From the mountains to the prairies to the ocean bright with gold. What? Oops. <laughs> The to oceans. the oceans. White with foam. Yes, not bright with gold. God Tony. God bless a uh, national treasure, Tony mm-hmm. Bennett. Time for you, you to, to go, go home. <laughs> that was actually better than Tony Bennett. Yeah, we yeah. hit all the notes. <laughs> Mariah Carey having trouble hitting the notes in Tokyo. She kicked off her word, world tour, her wor- word tour. Over the weekend, she couldn't hit the high notes on Always Be My Baby. We played that for you yesterday, but she hit all the notes in Billie Holiday's song Don't Explain and changed a few of the lyrics where she refers to Nick Cannon as a cheating mobile. And And I know you cheated (laughs) mobile. That's going over the top, Mariah. Well, remember, I talked about their divorce proceedings. He is not allowed to say a bad word about Mariah. Wouldn't it be funny if, yeah, he was on television, you know, America's Got Talent or something, and he came out and he said, what do you think about that little Johnny Johnson? It's better than the cheating mobile. Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Wouldn't that be funny? Yes. Cheat mobile. Bowl. Yeah, he it doesn't would. really have a platform. No, he doesn't. He's Mm-mm. Although he has a radio show, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it's kind know, of a platform, I he think. He could give it to Howie, you know, to, to you know, yeah. do his bidding. <laughs> Howie, what did you think of that last performance? Marge, you know. <laughs> you know how he does his. <laughs> and then squirt some hand sanitizer. <laughs> That's right. On. And okay. then promote something he's going to be on <laughs> upcoming. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's a big self-promoter, that Howie Mandel. All right, let's talk about this crazy story. Just a couple of weeks ago, the cast of Seventh Heaven reunited and Stephen Collins who played the dad tweeted out a picture they all gathered for uh, a dinner together a nice reunion I put the picture up on Y98 and it blew up I mean so many people excited to see the cast together years later now comes this bombshell Kevin are you ready I don't want to know what is it, is it really is it bad it's bad Stephen played the dad the, the pastor yeah. on 7th Heaven and we interviewed him uh, a couple years ago, really nice guy, good guy, or not? Don't He's tell me. He's in no. the middle of a nasty divorce with his wife, Faye Grant, and apparently, <laughs> scary. It's a bombshell right there. <laughs> it's a little late. <laughs> well, I was waiting for the. Is there more? <laughs> he yes. revealed to her in 2012 that he had molested oh, and no. or exposed himself to several underage girls years before. Oh no! Oh. Here's where it's. E- even worse. They went to a therapist. She questioned him about the incidents, and she was tape recording him the whole time. Not, I mean, videotaping him. He didn't know it. Her lawyer told her it was legal to secretly record the conversation because in California, you're allowed to. As long as you're a party of that conversation. Yeah, to gather evidence to the other that the other person committed a violent felony and molesting a child under the age of 14 qualifies. Oh, yeah. The oh. NYPD is investigating. I'm sure this is not the last we have heard of this story. Oh. Oh. Ugh. All, All right. day long. Get it this out, is Kevin. Be I, Kevin. I can't watch the show anymore. Well, well are you, you still watching it? <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> but oh, man, that's just I know. Oh. it's bad. It's Horrible. hard to I know. Horrible. I don't really know how to transition, I guess, just to talk about showtime. It is official that another show is coming back. David Lynch's show, Twin Peaks. I don't, I mean, I feel like... It, it was a capsule. It, it was. was. caught in time. <laughs> they made the announcement by talking in reverse. But the new episodes set in the present day 
And it looks like Kyle McLaughlin. My Kyle McLaughlin is <laughs> on board again. How do you say it? Is it McLaughlin? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Schooner and Rebecca. No. <laughs> he played Dale Cooper. He tweeted, better fire up that percolator and find my black suit. Hashtag Twin Peaks. I loved that show, but it used to be on late at night. And it was when I still lived at home. I think I was in middle school or high school, and I would be the last person downstairs and I'd have to shut off the lights and I'd run upstairs really fast and get under the covers because it was just weird. It, it was, was weird a, it, it was a creepy show. But I don't think you were in middle school when that show came out. I, she might have been. I don't think you would have been interested in middle school, no? No, I loved it. Yeah, when you're young and you sneak watch something, it doesn't matter if it's good or not or if you're into it. It's like nobody can know I'm watching this. Mm-hmm. Hello, Benny Hill. <laughs> and prisoner cell block H. <laughs> There's where it all began. Mm-hmm. TV uh, tonight, The Voice, recap of the blind auditions, 10th season premiere of Supernatural, series premiere of The Flash tonight on TV. And uh, Courtney, I have a new series for you. Okay. okay. You got into Ink Masters over the weekend. Just for a minute or two. New series. Nailed it. May the best Manny win. It's a manicure competition oh, on oxygen. Please, I, please. I may check it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's entertainment Schmick. More online at y98.com. Taking action.